Hey everybody, Rusty reporting in from the first St. Mark's BPSA Otter Scout Troop here in Sussex Corner, New Brunswick, and what a wild couple of days. Thank you all so much for sharing these videos, and thank you to the CBC and the Kings County Record for sharing my story. I hope you love these videos as much as I love making them. If you're new here, welcome. We're going to be discussing a very special bird today. Have you ever wondered what a duck mixed with a shovel would look like? Who hasn't, right? Well, wonder no more, because today we are going to be talking about the Northern Shoveler. Can you dig it? The Northern Shoveler is an easy duck to identify. Although the male's head is green like the mallard, they sport a uniquely shaped bill, much larger than other waterfowl. They use this bill to strain food from the waters of the wetlands. Groups of shovelers will swim in flocks, keeping their bill slightly submerged in the water to sweep out any delicious treats that may be below. Although the northern shoveler is on the larger side, it is an extremely agile bird. When a group of shovelers take off, their wings make a rattling sound. It's not all that uncommon to see a group of shovelers take off, fly a couple circles in the air, and land to continue feeding. They tend to do this because northern shovelers are a little more territorial than other ducks. So, if you ever see a group of shovelers, make sure you respect their distance. Physical distancing, right? You may be looking at this duck and thinking, I bet the ducklings are so cute with their big old bills, they probably can't even hold their little heads up. Well, in an odd phenomenon, shoveler ducklings are actually born with normal sized bills. It is only as they get older that they begin to get that famous bill, growing into their nickname, Spoonbill. Hey, I have a joke for you. It's bound to quack you up. Why was the Northern Shoveler put into the basketball game? To make a foul shot. <laughs> That's good, right? You can find shovelers quacking around wetlands, lakes, and searching for X's to dig for treasure all around the world. I hope you learned something new about the Northern Shoveler. Again, thank you for all of the support and welcome to the new faces. I can't wait to interact with you. Until next time, Rusty out.